I'm sorry. What did he say to you? He's got it all backwards. He thinks that Ethan was the one who was hitting me, and I lied and said it was Kiefer because you and Luke are friends. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. Did he threaten you in any way? No, he was actually nice, considering... He gave me this journal, and... Kiefer's journal and told me that I could go to the memorial service. I can't get used to saying those words. I mean, Kiefer's dad. And it's because of me, because I lied in the first place. What Kiefer did was wrong. You weren't wrong. Kiefer was wrong. He beat you senseless twice. That is the inexcusable fact. And honey, the Bowers are going to have to face that. And yes, it will be brutal because not only do they have to deal with the fact that their teenage son is dead, but they have to deal with the fact that he was deeply disturbed. But they don't have the right to come over here and beat you up again. You promise me you remember that. You. It's really hard sometimes. You know, I have all these conflicting feelings, like how stupid I was and how I caused all this. But at the same time, it's like, <clears throat> I knew, I know Kiefer's wrong for hitting me. I mean, I knew it at the time. Honey, why did you go back to him after did that? Why didn't you tell somebody? Well, I loved him. I mean, it, it wasn't all bad. You know, we had a lot of fun together, and he was really into me, and I liked that. And when things got complicated with Dad, I could always talk to him, and he'd understand. And I was, I was really the one who messed everything up. You had no way of knowing how damaged he was. You had no context for this. Yeah, you made mistakes, but none of them merited what he did to you. None of them. So you can, you can miss him and you can grieve him, but you cannot make excuses for what he did to you. And you need to hear this, my love, because there was no excuse. Mr. Bauer wants you to pay for Kiefer's death. I know. I couldn't take it if you went to prison. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to prison, okay? Max on it. I know you love him and you can count on him. It's going to be fine. Listen to me. My son, Kiefer, is dead. Why did he die? Who killed him, and how should they be punished? On the night of April 5th, Ethan Lovett arrived at the Davis residence and attacked Christina Davis. At some point, Christina had called my son, Kiefer, to ask for help. Kiefer was on his way to Christina's house when he lost control of the SUV he was driving and ran it off the road. The damage to the car made it undrivable and Kiefer continued on foot. Meanwhile, Alexis Davis arrived home to find that her daughter had been beaten and according to her statement, she then helped Christina into her car and made her way towards the hospital. She saw Kiefer on 